Hi everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you guys are here because today I am doing a Beyonce inspired makeup look for you guys. This is from the look that she wore at the Super Bowl. So I hope you guys all enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. Here I'm using an Old Love MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. I love this foundation when I worked at MAC. It gives me beautiful full coverage glowy skin, especially when I use it with a damp beauty blender sponge. And I have switched my eyebrow routine up again. I'm taking the Clinique Brow Gel in dark brown, running that through, letting it set, and then I go in with the eyeshadow Espresso, my go-to color in eyeshadow form, and run that through my brows. Not too strong, but it's a perfect amount to go with this look. And as always, in my starting point with eyeshadow, I take a big fluffy brush and focus on a warm brown color. I love this one by Makeup Geek called Latte, and we're just gonna really work that in, create a nice rainbow shape in our crease. And just go crazy with this color, carry it underneath the eyes as well. We want this look to be totally blown out, so don't be afraid to go under there. We're gonna really clean it up in just a little bit. And I'm trying not to spill my eyeshadow because I've already seemed to crack it, but I'm taking a foiled eyeshadow also from Makeup Geek, and I'm taking it on a MAC 217 brush and focusing it on the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner of my eye. I'm just going to buff it out with that same blender brush I used before, and then continue to build it up. We want a lot of shine and kind of starting to build up the rose gold tones of this eyeshadow look in this step. Now we're taking Melon Pigment from MAC. Oh my goodness, I think this is the first pigment I ever bought from MAC. Oh, sorry, a little nostalgic moment. But I'm placing this on the center of my eyelid. It is just such an amazing eyeshadow color that I think works perfectly with these rosy gold tones. And I also wet the brush because I want the impact to be really strong here and to reflect nicely on the eyes. I'm also taking a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes because this pigment is just incredible and you just want to build it up until until you get the intensity you like. I seem to have kind of disappeared on you guys in this clip. I just kind of really got into my mirror. I get really intense when it comes to eyeliner, and so I want to make sure it's just a nice thin cat eye. It's what I normally do. I use a angle brush to apply my gel eyeliner, which I think is really helpful. If you guys haven't tried it, you definitely should. Then here I'm applying Ardell Wispies. Again, Claire, what are you doing? So out of frame, I use a Revlon glue in the dark color, my favorite eyelash adhesive at the moment definitely check it out this is the best nude eye pencil I have ever tried I like it more than the Mac ones again what am I doing looking way far down but all I did was simply coat my waterline with Bonaparte eye pencil from NARS this is gonna open up the eyes a lot as you can see covers any sort of redness and is just the best eyeliner pencil for inside the eye that's not pure white which could be scary here, as you can see, isn't it really pretty how it just opens up the eyes? I'm just doing my normal concealing with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in like the lightest color here because I really want to do the job of brightening and I just worked that in with a damp beauty blender that I used for my foundation earlier. This step really just enhances our eye makeup a lot, which again is really the emphasis of this look. We want to feel like it's glowing and beautiful and this concealer is very glowing and beautiful as well. Since this look is soft and glowy, I am not going for a strong contour. I just want to frame my face with beautiful bronze. And this is, I'm also using a little bit of my Kapari um, coconut oil glow, which I mixed on my hand as well to give my skin that radiance that I want for this look. It is such a beautiful soft glow. So I'm just hitting that beautiful bronze color with my coconut glow on the areas of my skin where the sun would hit. So not a strong contour, I just want a beautiful overall uh, tan look to my skin and just to really bring out my, my features with it. For the lips, I knew I wanted to define them with Max Strip Down. Gonna really give me nice definition here. And I always like to fill in my lips a little bit with that lip liner to create a nice outline. And then here I'm going in with this beautiful rose gold color to match the eyes. And it is by L'Oreal. It's the lip stain, but it's gonna give it, get that gorgeous rosy gold color, but also be a lip stain at the same time. And to be consistent between the eyes and the lips, I wanted the cheeks to be in the same color family, and I went with Melba, a beautiful coral tone blush. 
Well, there you have it. That is going to complete this Beyonce inspired makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I love this look. I feel like you are just glowing after this and it just is such an attention getter. Let me know if you guys try it out. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Claire Ashley Beauty, to see what's coming next. Thank you guys so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.